Let's go, Lord. She celebrates the Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, guys. See, what I've done, eh? I drove all the way, like, 30 minutes without sleeping. I just realized I was not wearing sleeping. Ghana is not just the capital city, so okay? it's not just Accra, it's not just Kumasi, it's not just Safade, it's not just Ho, it's not just um, Sunyane, it's not just Tamale. Good morning guys, so for your duty here, welcome back to my channel. So today is the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day and look at me. This is your girl right now. I'm going on a field trip, work related, obviously. I'm going all the way to Krachi West, um, Kite Krachi to be precise. It's a very long journey, and so we have to leave very early. It's currently 8. I'm actually late because the plan was to leave at 7.30. Come along, let's see how this day goes. So, I'm currently waiting for my Uber. You are here where? Because I'm also outside. Come again. I can't hear what you are saying. The line is breaking. I can't hear you. Says is he's here, but I don't know exactly who. But it says you are waiting, but you are not even here. I will start the cream gate over there. Good morning. Good morning. Before we continue with the argument. No when you got here, you didn't call me. At least call me and tell me I'm there so that we know we are at the right place. I want to frame a crowd, do handle whether it's the location is right or wrong. Waiting. Meanwhile, I was outside here. Alright, let me move last calling. When I saw you. Okay. What the mistake that I made? I think you should have called because. But no. Sometimes then. You think I should have called? This yeah. I called. Come again. Didn't I call? Before you put me on waiting, that is what I'm saying. No. When you come, you don't know that, that the person is there on his birthday. It's only me to wait in the location here wrong. You, you, you said arrive. Mm -hmm. Then yours appears as driver waiting. Oh, okay. Good. Then you get a notification that the driver is around. So for us, it's not compulsory for us to go. At least we wait till you come because that is where your location has taken us. So we are waiting for you to come. We wait for five minutes. If you don't come, we can cancel. Okay. So but what if the location was wrong? Not good. If it was wrong, then you call the phone. Oh, I'm not there. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And and then it is the person who is on your phone. The updates should be updated. Like frequently. Okay. The updates should be frequently. Then the uh, the phone is the correct for everything. No, there's no need to go and go in at all. If you that you think maybe your uh, internet survey or tech survey, so you don't have an issue with that, but sometimes they do get it wrong. Even though it's the same app you use, it's the same location, nothing has changed, but some people will get it wrong. So sometimes they will call you and ask you, I'm there, is it this place? Yes. Then they will put on their waiting, or when they come, they will put on their waiting. And if you don't come out, because I know they're waiting, it goes against you. Oh. It adds, five minutes. It adds, it adds five some minutes. cost. It's uh -huh. five minutes. You wait for five minutes, then after five minutes, you Okay, guys, so I'm on my way to the office, and my work is quite demanding, so I travel. Videos we 
after week. Um, the plan was two a week, but then I was thinking, even if I can't do two a week, as for once a week day, I should manage. But that also seems to be a struggle, obviously, because today is Sunday, and I should have a video up today. And it's not like I don't have content. Oh, I do have yes. I do have, I have a lot, but it's the editing that is the problem. Hmm. Working, doing things on the side, and you know, it hasn't been, it hasn't been easy, but then we'll see. It's one of those things, so hopefully this video will go up tomorrow, and I'll have time to edit um, the pile that content I have and then they will continue in that order I'm here now so basically waiting for the tea then we can move hello good morning oh uh -huh. <laughs> yeah so have you heard from my boss I turn not the work on Sunday. So you guys you see well few people are enjoying. Okay? Having breakfast in bed and things. This is how I get to spend my rounds day working. There's always something to do. Always. So guys, a brief information about what I do. So I am basically a health promotion officer with one of the NGOs in Ghana in sexual reproductive health and family planning. Family planning is part of um, sexual reproductive health, but I say in family planning because it is one of our main focus. Okay. So for the project I am working on, we work hand in hand with Ghana Health Service and the target or our concentration it's on the adolescents, the rural dwellers, and the underserved. Yes. I feel like most of the people following me right now are very close people. Majority of them are my colleagues at work. <laughs> I basically force everyone to uh, subscribe to my channel. Some are very close friends, family members. Well, not close friends, friends in general, family members. Majority of the people kind of know me so that's why i don't put a lot of personal content out there because i feel like most of the people already know me they know what i do they have all the information so i haven't really done a get to know me video and i do not want to put out more personal video i do not want to bore people so um maybe in future if i do get um, a lot of following or if my following goes a bit then I can do some of the personal personal videos and then give you more details about myself my work blah 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 and all those things so yeah so for those that do not know obviously not everybody uh, following me knows me yeah of course they are new people um, and I, 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 I thank everybody for the support but um, basically, there's a reason why I haven't put too much personal information out there. Because of my job, I get to travel a lot. And like I said, it's usually in the rural setting. I work within Eastern Region, Volta Region, Oti Region, Greater Accra Region. Well, not too much in Greater Accra Region, but yeah. Due to my work i get to travel to villages in these regions and it has been eye-opening i really love my job 
I like the rural setting to be honest. I think maybe it's just the greenery. I just love the mountains, the green bushes, the vegetation. I love it. I love it. And then the smell. Sometimes the smell of the mud when it rains. I, I like it. <laughs> Well, let me use this opportunity to urge us all. Um, if you do get the opportunity to move out of your region, okay, please try and visit some villages. Ghana is not just the capital city, so okay? it's not just Accra, it's not just Kumasi, it's not just Akrade, it's not just Ho, it's not just um, Sunyane, it's not just Tamale. Even 30 minutes from home, you can find typical Ghanaian rural setting. We need to really travel outside of our comfort zone and see what is really happening in Ghana. Okay? Ghana is far from developed. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the areas that I've been to, the poverty and the illiteracy, the ignorance, it's mind blowing. You will not believe. And some of these villages are not too far off. They are like maybe two hours from us. And I'm thinking, so a honey hayai. A honey hayai. You are amazing. I do not want to be part of the argument of whether family planning is indeed a development and really seek to help immediately you say things like this i feel like you are just a city person you haven't really been to the other side of ghana the real side of ghana because the population there is greater than the populations in the city because in the villages you can find an adolescent as early as 13 14 already with a child so can you imagine such a person right if this person is not put on uh, contraceptives or does not hear anything about family planning then by the time she gets to 30 <laughs> she has at least six to seven children yes and that's normal okay um, I've ever met a um, 30 year old with 10 children okay and even that she was telling me that at a point in time it's like um, I wanted to call okay so after she had her first child I don't know how to say that in in English but after she had her first child she couldn't conceive for about four years so there's a four years gap between the first one and the second one but exactly one year after she gives birth um, immediately she's about to start menstruating she takes seed so between um, the first and the second there's a gap of four to five years but then the rest one year one and a half you see in that order and she's 30 okay and this person have not well she has heard about family planning but uh, there's a lot of myth and misconception so she she was not interested okay at the time i met her she wasn't interested so can you imagine this person has plans of continuing meanwhile this person lives in the rural setting and i i keep asking them what kind of life do you want for your children and do you want them to go in this rural setting in this poverty together with you and the family are you okay with that education is everything now and it doesn't come easy it's very expensive the best you can do for your children now is to invest in their education okay i don't care whatever you want to be even if you want to be a slave queen whatever you want to be and you see a lot of accomplished people are even turning into con content creator and influences and someone might sit back and think that oh that should be easy please take time and try to get to know the influencers that are doing well or those that have that mm, that extra vibe find out um, their background okay majority of them are graduates and they went to good schools that's how come they put things together and you 
it's so different it sets them apart there's that genesis where you just don't know but you're like Aish, this woman has class it's because of the education okay so nothing good comes easy and so if at 30 years you have 10 children uh, what else can you do eh? unless you are married to dangote how are you going to survive with your children not to even make it complicated just visit your own hometown either your mother's hometown or your father's hometown decide go and visit them and try and live in the community where your grandmother grew up your grandma your family house proper family house just try and know your community and come back again the development eh, i can promise you it's only some of us that are enjoying the majority of Ghanaians they are not in the cities the class or the population back one person can give birth to seven eight nine ten one person mm, so the population there is not a joke if you want to help people in the community you want to make an impact it's not just Accra. there are a lot of people outside Accra that need help they need mentorship they need counseling they need to see that there is a good life somewhere. They can be better. They deserve more. Hmm? They can improve on themselves. We shouldn't sit here and just speak big English or assume. We're going to really see what is happening and see how best we can help. We shouldn't sit here and, you know, use our big, big English and... <laughs> Because we think we are educated or we have an experience. Because the, the issues on the ground, and your focus here is not big English, okay? It's not big English, it's not, you know, it's not degree matter, it's not master's matter, it's not PhD matter. Go and experience it and come again. So my boss is in. Okay, so. Let's start the journey. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Day, guys. See, what I've done, eh? I drove all the way, like, 30 minutes without slippers. I just realized I was not wearing slippers. But I'm celebrating Valentine's Oh, hello, guys. Hi. 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 Don't give Auntie a lot of trouble. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure.
currently at Dambai, but unfortunately, um, we were unable to join the ferry, so we have to wait for it to go and come back. See, that's the ferry. It just this is our chief driver for the day. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My boss went to fight, but we didn't take it. Hey, Madame Fu. I don't know your mama. Where are they? Hey, Pona. Hey, hey. Too sure. Guys, I'm finally alone so I can take off my mask. We are finally here. It's currently 7.54. Okay, we set off around 8, 8.30 there. And we arrived at 7.54 p.m. Uh, wow how i spent my valentine's day so let me show you my room this is the main entrance and on my left is a chair a smart tv a small fridge cute wardrobe and a big bed guys i'm so tired like Guys, I'm so tired. All I want to do is just bath, eat and sleep. Okay, when I travel, I'm usually particular about the washroom. As you can see, this is very simple, neat. And that's the most important thing. Has a shower here. What this? What the bathroom is missing is a water heater. I need a water heater. Yeah. I bath with hot water most of the time. So if we had a water heater, that would have been perfect. But this is not bad. It's neat. And that is it. This is 
my home for tonight and I'm going to bath and get some food guys I'm very very tired I'm struggling to even put my words and my thoughts together this is where I bring this vlog to an end if this is not the first time you're seeing me please do well to subscribe and support your girl if this is the first time you're seeing me same wahala please subscribe to my channel go through my channel there are other videos I'm sure you'd like as well don't forget to like share and leave a comment down in the comment section below till we meet again I'm out. Bye-bye.